Hey everyone, have you ever had this issue with OBS failing to load? So you get this error message when you open up OBS, it says OBS plugins fail to load OBS-NTI. So this is a plugin which has been installed and it can't work with this particular version of OBS. So you have a couple of options, you could downgrade your OBS, you could update the plugin, but today what I'm going to show you to do is to actually delete the plugin itself so we don't get this annoying error message and it just teaches you where to actually go to actually delete those plugins. So what we're going to do is press the OK button here, and then we're going to go to File Explorer, and then we're going to go to our C drive here, then go to Program Files. So double click on Program Files, and then we're going to scroll down until we get to OBS Studio. So OBS Studio, double click. Then we're going to go to OBS Plugins, double click. Then we're going to double click on 64 bit. We're going to scroll down until we find the errant plugin that we have installed. So the error message identified OBS. NDI as the plugin that's not working. It hasn't been updated since 2020, so we don't want this anymore. I'm going to select these two files, right click, and then delete. So those files are now deleted. And what I'm going to do now is to close OBS. I'm going to open up another instance. And now we don't have that error message anymore. So anyway, that is how you clear that error message and delete plugins from OBS on Windows. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.